G'day everyone, Jeremy Buckingham here. I'm out in Wilcannia in Western New South Wales, meeting with the Barkindji people, talking about the health of the, the Darling River, uh, learning firsthand what it means to this community to have water in the Darling. I'm with uh, Uncle Cyril, Virgin, and Anne, learning about the river and what it means to these people. Virgin, can you tell us about the river, what it means to you, and what sort of condition it's in? Well, you know, um, I, can, I can tell you honestly that, um, you know, the three of us that stand here today were born and raised on the, on the Darling River. Um, you know, I can, we can reflect back to the days when we were young um, and, the, and the river was at a standard level and we thought, you know, that never in our lifetime would we see the river ever go dry. Um, you know, there's, there's many reasons, I do believe, in regards to why the river's gone dry. Um, and to us, it's, that's not acceptable. But growing up, you know, they were the most important days of our lives. And the river to us is something that is very significant. Um, and because we're known as the Barkindji people of Wokanya, Barker means river people. So, um, you know, growing up on the, on the banks of the, of the Darling River um, brings, brings back many happy memories. Um, you know. And it means a lot to the community to have it, water in the river. Absolutely, you know. But, you know, growing up in our days, swimming in the river, fishing, the river is a, was a part of our life, and it still is a part of our life. You know, um, to, um, to be able to pack up, you know, your, your, your car and go out to the river and, and enjoy, you know, the moments around the river and the things that you do at the river, it doesn't happen anymore because we have no water in our river, which is quite sad. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, our river has no water. And, you know, we have no voice. Nobody's hearing from us in regards to how we feel about this and what it has done to our everyday lives and, and, and what voice do we have in rectifying the problem. We don't have a voice. As, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's only today that I happen to come across you, Jeremy, um, and you, you've allowed us to speak our opinions in regards to how we feel about the river, and and it's important that you do listen to us, and and we, you know, you hear our views on on how we feel about it and what we think that should should be happening to. Uh,